gate because this is where I used to live in Beijing. I used to live right by the summer palace. It's burning hot today but the sky is blue. It usually never happens. So we're first gonna get the tickets. Go tickets. Yay ticket place. So these tickets are 10 US dollars each, 10 US dollars each. So make sure like if you buy the whole one with the full price, the whole ticket is through ticket, make sure you keep your ticket because you're going to need it later in Western Yen. Okay, here we go. Let's go in. Here we go, this is your ticket. This is where he proposed to me. Where I sold my soul. Oh, okay. 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 Thank you. I'm Vidoin. Okay. You didn't do this. Go, go. <laughs> dirty. <laughs> it's dirty. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. I'm I'm doing video. Okay. <laughs> okay. You have to put it on. Does it fit? I don't know. <laughs> it does not fit. Too big. Too big. That's okay. Oh, is, it, uh, yeah. is it too big? <laughs> if it's this one. Ah, uh, yeah. Your finger too small. It, 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 we'll have to resize. You have to resize. Thank you. Okay. We can put it back up since it don't fit. <laughs> so on this ticket, you will see different palaces, different places. Yay, we're in. So now we're gonna try to rent a boat. Okay, so this is the famous 17 hole bridge. I'm sure there's like a better name for it. So over, over there. here. This is the famous bridge. It has 17 holes, and each holes are in different sizes. Arches. Arches. Okay, 17 arches bridge. 17 arch bridge. 17 arch bridge. Or bridge with 17 arches. Yeah, whatever. This is the famous One Show Mountain. The sky is blue. That's why I proposed over there in front of that big thingy. <laughs> Okay, so first we need to go to a place where we can rent a boat. Over there. It's over there. It's really pretty. Looks nice today. It's very nice weather. The sky is blue today. So it's definitely a good day for walking around. It's not Get my polluted steps in. and stuff. Yeah, but the thing is, it's really hot. It's burning hot right now. Okay. As we were walking, like today is not super busy because it's not weekend. Yeah.
Let's gotta give some Summer Palace back. Go. Okay, Summer. Okay, Summer Palace back. Actually, I know a lot because when I graduated from college, my grand, uh, my uncle was gonna give me a job for like English as an English tour guide. You know, because I speak English. So basically, Summer Palace was built in Qing Dynasty, where when the Emperor Qianlong was trying to build a birthday present for his mom. So the whole, it's the entire park is actually a birthday present. And this lake, Kunming Lake, is fake. It's an artificial lake. Man-made. Man-made lake. And the mountain is also artificial. So basically, they dig a hole right here to create this lake and they piled up all of the dirt, the soil, over there to create this mountain. So the entire thing is man-made. And also, this whole park was built based on the southern Xihu. It's like a, a very famous like tourist lake in the south. So once upon a time when the Empress mom went to the south, she really liked it. So the Emperor who loves her mom dearly, he built this park based on the lake in the south so his mom can actually enjoy the beautiful scenery of the south here in the north. And in Qing Dynasty, because it's very hot here in Beijing every summer, so every summer the whole Emperor and the government officials and his essential families, they will come to the summer palace and they will spend their summer here. So instead of staying in the Forbidden City, they will actually do their business here. So it's their vacation home. Yeah, basically their vacation home. Yeah, any other fun facts that you need? How big is it? It's really big, but I, I don't know because I don't know. I can't remember the numbers in the score feet, but this is actually a better t spot for pictures, not by the entrance, but here. If you look at right here, you will see the mountain right here. But if you turn this way, you will see the bridge. So this is actually a better spot for pictures. Okay, Brandon, come here, take some pictures. Brandon, come here. This is the best spot, come on. By the way, guys, I grew up here. I used to come here every single day. So that's why I know a lot about this park. All right, so picture time. All right, right now we're going to the boat place, boat rental place. And DJ Wong is, I don't know what it's playing. But basically, if you walk under the shade, it's not too bad. You can also go visit the famous Changlang, the long exhibition hall, kind of like that. Basically, in each little compartment, there is a story in the picture. And you can actually purchase books about these stories. But yeah, I used to live in the family neighborhood, like where everybody's parents or their family relatives work here in the Summer Palace. Everybody knows everybody. It was like a very nice community here. But you know, once we grew up, we kind of moved out. So. Why the bottom of the trees white? Oh, the bottom of the trees are white to protect uh, insects. So basically, there are a lot of bugs right here, and we painted the bottom of the trees so the insects are actually they don't go on the trees. It's to protect the trees. It's a it's a special anti-bug paint. Why are the trees numbered? So each trees in the Summer Palace were numbered because we have different trees and all that and trees are actually of different ages. So they use different fertilizer and they use different, they take care based on each tree individually. On the top of each tree you can actually see their names, really. So if you're an expert of trees, you can actually read their names and stuff and you know what type of trees they're on. Comment and, down below if you know what type of tree they are. Well it says on the top, there's a tag. They not only number them, they also like put on tag. But like, let's say if there are 10 trees of the same kind, they usually just tag one of them. Okay, we're here. We're by the boat rental place. Yeah, when we lived by the Summer Palace, we used to come here every day for morning exercises and my grandpa loves to exercise here, but now he's too old to exercise, which is pretty sad. But like coming to this place definitely reminds me of my time spent with my grandpa. It was definitely good times. Okay, we're here to buy the boat rental. Let me go. So these are the paddle boats. Pedal bolts are cheaper than the electronic 
electronic boat. More fun. The pedal boat is 80 RMB per hour and the deposit is 400. So 80 is probably like $12, which is not bad per hour. But the electronic, electronic is... Electric. Electric. The electric boat is... To 20 US dollars, 120 RMB. Not worth it. Not worth it. So worth we're gonna go with this one. And you know, when you when you rent a boat, you get a card, and when you come back, you just deposit the card, and right. then you get to deposit back. We can okay. go on all the routes. There's eight different routes we can go. So let's diff- go on our boat trip. Okay, let's go. Hala. Okay. So what we just come back here. Last time you have to ask a worker. Last time he pr- actually proposed to me on this boat and <laughs> the worker, our tour guy had to like pedal it all the way back. They felt bad. But we had to go eat in a restaurant. There's actually a restaurant in here and I think you need reservations and stuff, but basically you can experience what Empress ate back then. Ah! ah! This is Miss Ming. We're at the Summer Palace. We're doing paddling boat. Paddle boat. We have a life jacket. No, life jacket. I can stand up in the water. I'm so tall. No, you're not. It's pretty deep. Let's go. Let's get started. Oh, it feels good. The wind blowing through my hair. Oh, yeah. years later. Are you tired yet? Yeah! I'm tired! It's your stupid idea. Aww. We're getting closer and closer to the bridge.
You want to go by the bridge? The famous bridge! 17 arch bridge! Go through it, sir! I don't think you're supposed to. Let's do it, go! Yeah, you gotta see the other side of the bridge! We just returned a boat. It cost us like 12 US dollars for an hour, but it was really, really tiring. I was, real, I was like so sweaty. So she's weak. Okay, right now we're going to the museum and then we're gonna hike the fake mountain. I want this one. Okay, listen, mom. This one. My uncle was the project manager for this one. He designed the museum. Wenchang Museum. This is actually the perfect picture spot that nobody knew about. But a lot of professional photographers, they will come here and they will, sh they will shoot the photos from this angle. Because this is the main hall and you go through the hall, the emperor used to go through the hall and then it will go up to that thingy. The Buddha thing, the Buddha temple thing. It's not a real temple, it's mainly for the emperor to worship the god or Buddha. This is the pot where you can burn the incense. In the old days, you can burn incense from here, and there are specific number of these pots for burning incense. And these are the saint animals that protect the Empress House. We have four of these animals. Some of them are considered female, some of them are considered male. Like this one is considered a female. It's not a phoenix. It's called Zhu Chu. It's like a bird. So we have four different animals. Actually, I think they come in couple, they come in pairs. 
Let's go. This is where the emperor stayed when he was here. This is where the emperor used to sit. Are you ready to climb the mountain? Oh, it's lotus season. Now we're gonna climb up. It's supposed to be not really high because it's artificial. It's not real mountain. It's like a little hill. But still, there's a slope and incline. Hey, look at the houses. It's really pretty over here. And then we're going to that. We're going to there. So we're gonna walk through the hill. And these are the houses. <laughs> You just keep walking up. It's really not that here. Because, you know, it's breaks and stairs. It's not very steep either. And basically how it goes is that it's like you're going uphill and then you have like two stairs so that it's manageable for old people. Let's see. And it's all shaded, so it's not really hot. There are trees all around us. This guy's dying. What are you doing? Okay, give me one. You didn't bring any for yourself. I, I bought it for you. Well, just for me. Mm. It's a peach. It's a different peach. Mmm. Super good. Dog's just chilling, hoping that anybody could give him some food. You can see all the boats. I think we're here. Which one? Oh, this one. Old tree. What's the tree's name? Palati Colades Orientals. Orientalis. Now this one is old, supposed to be very old. Which one? Oh, that one is not that cool. If you don't see a tag, it doesn't it means it's not cool. All the old trees will have a tag, means it's old tree.
are finally here. And how do you like it? It's cool. It's cool. You can feel the draft. Here we go. This is the tower, and inside there are a lot of Buddhas, but for some reason there used to be a lot of thieves and they stole a lot of the Buddha heads. So I don't think they allow it to go in anymore, but you used to be able to go into this building. And over here, there is another place. It's called the Frederick Spring. Here. Yeah! One. Okay, the battery is dying. I gotta change the battery. Super hot right now. Super. This is a better spot for taking photos. I think. Take photos here after the battery change. supposed to take a picture of the Buddha but I still did it for you guys And water is considered a thing that protects the house. So basically in every essential Empress house, his Empress Palace, you can see a bridge and water. Alright guys, I'm so tired. I don't know if my speech is coherent, but I tried. Okay, exit this way. So hot. Right, we're here. This is a big gate over here to the lake. Now we're back to Kunming Lake. And we're gonna start walking on the back. Oh, so hot! Walking along the lake and we're gonna see some pictures in the hall. Long hall. I don't know what's the professional name of translation but basically in Chinese we call it a long hall. Basically it's a hallway that's like extremely long that goes from here all the way to the other side all right let's go Hallway for them to walk from the front of the park to the back of the park. And of course, the Summer Palace has different entrances. We have something on the east, on the south, and on the north. Yeah. I used to live by the east. So, this is where I used to hang out all the time with my friends.
bath time. It's a Peking dish where the emperor used to eat. If you want to experience the authentic emperor experience, come here. But we're not gonna eat here. Okay, we're trying to go to the north exit and we're gonna take subway to eat somewhere else. Why don't we just get electric? It's faster. Ah, we're in for the experience, guys. In for the experience. If you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. We tried really hard. And also, make sure you subscribe. And this is where Brandon proposed to me. It's right here. Here we go. Oh my God, I'm so tired. All right, last year, Brandon proposed to me here in the Summer Palace, Beijing, China. And this year, is making me do a whole of work. Good. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys later, bye.